I am Storm, and you can too, and today is day 61. <clears throat> I'm in the car because I just got done. I went to Burger King to get potatoes and a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, and then I went to Hardee's to get a Coke Zero Sugar, because I'm worth it. Anyway, um, real sorry about the bummer nature of, uh, the doom and gloom videos I put out this week. It was a hard week, but it wasn't a difficult week. It just, I was disappointed by several things added on to... The ridiculous nature of in-store sales because what we're trying to accomplish in the grand scheme it doesn't matter one way or another a house will get painted a building will get painted it's all gonna get painted this isn't nuclear fission this isn't bomb building this isn't brain science and surgery. You know, this is selling and buying paint. And so, at the end of the day, we got it taken care of. Kinda. I mean, there's still work to be done, but uh, that's work. Anyway. <clears throat> I had a full night to, uh, sleep on it and think on it, and, uh, I came to the conclusion that, you know, I'll just put, I'll just put it behind me, we'll look forward to next week, come whatever may, but, uh, yeah, not, uh, not something I'm hoping to repeat. Caitlin's at work. Uh, she works this weekend. So that means I'm here at the house. Um, I know that she wants me to ask about getting the pickup truck from Will, uh, my father-in-law, and getting the last remaining bits of uh, tree limbs and stuff in the backyard. I know that she also wants me to uh, take the wheelbarrow and scoop rocks into the wheelbarrow and uh, put them on the side of the house again and that all sounds you know good but I don't have it in me today so I'm probably going to be really really lame and like do stuff in the house and play more Red Dead Redemption 2 but I'm not going to be doing any of that unless I really get it in me because I'm just tired. Like, honestly. Um, I think today's the day that my neighbors across the street are going to move out. So I'm really hoping that when the new neighbors move in, I can actually make an acquaintance with them. Because when we moved into this house... Like, the first night that we were in, we sat in the garage, and, like, we breathed in, we just bought a house, like, oh, this is so awesome, and our neighbors across the street were sitting outside and having a fire pit, and I thought, like, maybe we should go over and introduce ourselves, but they refused to even, like, acknowledge that we were there. And to the best of my knowledge, when you move in, people are supposed to go to you and talk with you. I did that with my neighbors that moved into the left of me. As soon as they moved in, I, I welcomed them to the neighborhood. Obviously, I haven't been here for very long, so I couldn't exactly be like, hey, I speak for everyone here. But I was just like, hey, we're new too. Happy to have you. 
and they've been awesome neighbors. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that the ones across the street, when they move in, that they're awesome neighbors too. The ones to my right, they're awesome neighbors too, but they're feuding with the ones behind me, and that is, it's getting kind of funny. Like, he claims <clears throat> that they're launching eggs onto his property, that his uh, Chevy Malibu has gotten hit by some of these eggs, and that's why the paint is peeling. Um, he says that my neighbor to the back built his fence onto my property, and he's taken about three feet away from me. And then he took some away from him, and they've been battling about this fence, and it just the back and forth that these two have, and I've only met my neighbor to the back once, because it's a nice fence, and I don't see them all that often, and I'm not making a habit of trying to talk with them, and upsetting the one to my right, because he gives me a bunch of, like, free produce and stuff, tomatoes and cucumbers and whatnot, so I'm not going to bite the hand that feeds me, literally, but it's funny, just listening that these two have a feud, because you always see it in the movie or something, like, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, you know, Dinkleberg, so, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up, because my wife's trying to call me, have a good one.